Uh, I'm Matt Davis. Uh, I'm a lecturer in Socio-Technical Systems here at Leeds University Business School. Uh, I'm a psychologist by background and I work with colleagues in the Socio-Technical Centre um, working with people in engineering, geography, health and, and other places uh, looking at interesting kind of real-world problems that um, require kind of thinking about behaviour, design uh, and technical aspects as well. This was a really interesting project. We were approached by British Gas to help them understand uh, how effective their CSR programmes have been running with schools have been uh, and looking how to improve those going forwards. And in particular, looking at some technology and engagement activities they've been running with primary and secondary schools all across the UK, looking to help them kind of cut their energy usage. We designed the research um, with two phases, really. Um, so we were looking at existing data that we, we had on energy usage, buildings and so on for the schools that had been involved and, and some which hadn't. Um, and then we did some primary data collection as well, going into a series of case study schools, about nine of those. Uh, we were interviewing kind of staff, parents and, and, and other workers um, and also conducting focus groups with children themselves in those schools to learn from their experiences. So probably three main findings that came out of our project. So the first, when we looked across the different types of technology, uh, education and engagement activities that British Gas have been running with the schools, um, we found that the, the most successful in terms of helping schools to reduce their energy usage, so the actual amount of electricity and gas they were using, uh, were the ones where they installed technology, so energy saving technologies, more efficient insulation and, and uh, boilers and so on, um, coupled with education and engagement strategies for the, the students and the, the staff in those places. So that was much more effective than just technology on its own or just engagement and education. So that's really interesting and, and that kind of mirrors what we see um, in the home and also in, in businesses as well when we install new technologies. So that, that's an interesting thing and I think it highlights the fact that when we're thinking about how do we tackle energy reduction, we need to think about more than just the technology in isolation as important as that is, but also how will people use those technologies, how do they interact with them, how do we train them so they understand to use them effectively, um, and make sure that they're installed in the right ways. We have some really interesting examples of, of where that happened particularly well and, and places where we can learn how to do that better. Second kind of key finding really was about the role of champions. Um, so people within the schools, quite often teachers, who took a leading role in, in terms of energy and, and sustainability. Um, and they were really championing and, and helping their colleagues, so other teachers and, and school staff, uh, to understand how to use technologies, um, finding ways of engaging the children, finding new resources and so on. And that was really important in, in actually driving change, getting people to, to think about energy and how they might tackle that. And then finally, the, the last thing we saw, and particularly when we were talking to the children themselves in focus groups, was about how they were taking this learning home. So they might have um, come across um, sustainability issues or, or energy issues um, when some of the technologies were being installed or some of the programs that British Gas were running or just some of the lessons they were having from teachers and how they were taking that learning home, changing what they were doing at home, maybe pestering their parents as well, so encouraging them to change their behaviours and also doing the same with teachers in the classroom as well, picking up on, on when maybe teachers were leaving lights on or, or other kind of behaviours that could be changed um, and the teachers and parents were saying how how strong that was actually in getting them to think about what they were doing and changing their own behaviours. So the findings are quite interesting um, and British Gas are using those to, to look at how they design their programmes going forward and what they do in terms of engaging schools and, uh, and other kind of partners uh, in terms of reducing energy in the future. So they're redesigning that at the moment. Um, and then we're using that as well because there's some general lessons that come out of this in terms of how you engage people in technology change, things to consider in terms of actually reducing energy consumption itself. So some academic and, and some conceptual things that come out of this as well.